All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Freaky Friday, October 4th, 2019. Happy Friday to you. All right, lots of lots going on this weekend, all right? The moon is moving into Capricorn around noon today. Uh, Mars is officially, you know, in, Vir uh, in Libra, excuse me. So the Virgo party is left. The train has moved into Libra officially. Uh, Mercury has jumped ahead into Scorpio. Okay, there's a lot of uh, oppositions going on today. There's some creative underlining energy, but there's a lot of tension. And, and, and when we look at the chart, we can see a lot of this tension has to do with our communication. Okay, our communication. Um, that it's, it's a calling us out. You know, like the underlining theme of what's happening this weekend is really calling us out uh, to communicate deeper, you know, and, and Mercury being in, in Scorpio till December 9th, okay, it's going to be in there for a while, all right, a little over two months, because uh, it's going to go all the way forward, and then it's going to retrograde back for a couple of weeks, three weeks, right, and then it's going to move through its shadow before it's finally out into Sagittarius, onto, you know, new information, which is really, it's going to be exciting when it goes in there, but, um, you know, we got we to gotta work through this deep stuff first. You know, there's some deep, uh, deep-rooted issues that are going on, personal stuff, that we have to shine the light on, and we have to talk about them. And that's the key today, is we really have to talk about this stuff. Bring it up, all right? Now, here's Mercury, just at one degree of Scorpio. As you can see, there's an opposition here to Uranus, and that's going to be going on for a couple of days, okay? It's not, it's not exact yet, but it's building up. Okay, and we need, we, you know, it's like this is the release. This is the, uh, well, I mean, Uranus is the, is the great awakener. Uranus is the great release, but it's going to come through our communication, you know. Um, then we have this quincunx over here to Chiron, healing of self, okay. So whatever, whatever comes through this, you know, it's been bubbling and brewling and that's, bah, you know, it's like this, this um, geyser. Guys are deep beneath the surface here in Scorpio. This this has been stirring up for a while. You know, th this is not new information that's coming to light right now. This is information that we've had, you know. And you can see this sextile happening here with the moon. That's really fun. That's happening early in the day. All right. Uh, and then and then what else? We've got this this it's creative energy to Saturn here, the quintile, creative energy to Saturn. So again, Saturn wants to make things perfect. It wants you know uh, it wants to commit, and and that's kind of the fun thing is this is is Saturn is saying like commit to this you know, commit to communication, um, commit to the information, whatever is going on you know get it out there, get it don't don't. Don't hold it back. Don't, you know, it's like you're going to get an ulcer. <laughs> so I was like, get it, get it out. Um, and we see we've got Mars, all right, starting to create this opposition to Chiron. Okay, those are going to be exact. So it's like all of this tension is building here, here in, in the next couple of days, okay? Now, look, here's another one. Another tension building here is we have the sun at 11 degrees, and then it's about to square the nodes. It only squares the nodes, you know, twice a year. Uh, one side on one side and then the, and, you know, the other. So, so first it was over here in, in Aries. It was all about self. You know, what are we going to do? How, which, you know, are we going to choose the left road or the right road? Uh, are we feeding, you know, which wolf are we feeding? <laughs> you know, and, and now we're, we're, we're being, you know, this is a uh, new energy coming back or the same energy is coming back again, but it, it has to deal with other people. You know, this isn't just about our solo journey and our just our decisions, but it's this is about ourselves and our relationship with others. And we're really at these crossroads, okay? Um, and that's, again, tension building over the next couple of days. Uh it's just, it's just, you know, that's just kind of the energy that's going on. We've got, we've got tension that's coming up, and that's fine. The moon moving into Capricorn is is great, okay? Because this, we're not going to get overly bogged down. If if there's something we're working through, if there's this like, or if, if there's communication, because again, we're still dealing with other people, you know. And in Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio, this is still about our shared resources. You know, sometimes it's like these are difficult conversations that we don't want to have with a, could be a business partner, but these are necessary things. You know, like hey, the, the, we're going to lose our power if the, you know this doesn't happen or. Or, 
or if we don't, you know, take these steps now uh, during this harvest season, you know, we could really, you know, hurt ourselves come this deep winter or, you know, whatever, again, whatever is going on personally with you. Um, so either way, with the moon moving into Capricorn, it's nice because, again, we're not going to be, we're not going to be uh, uh, too, too emotional about it. You know, it's just like we, we can assess the situation. And we say, okay, you know, okay, let's let's move on. Let's let's find the solution, not the problem. You know, it's like, all right, there it is, moving forward. You know, so that's, so that's exciting energy. So like through the whole weekend, we have this tension building, but we have this like, I'm going to just get to the finish line. You know, that's the most important thing right now is finishing the race. The most important thing is getting the deadline done. And it's weird that this is all happening on a weekend, you know, uh, where there is no job for most people. There's not a job to do. You know, there's maybe tasks, you know, maybe it's a busy, busy being at home, maybe busy setting up Halloween decorations. Um, I don't know. Maybe some a little bit more than that. I mean, there's certainly a creative energy going on here. Um, again, with uh, healing creative energy, too. So this is like, there's like, uh, if we tap into this, if we allow ourselves to open up, kind of surrender to this, whatever is brewing or whatever is going on, if we don't, you know, if we don't cap the geyser, if we allow it to open up, Okay, we have the key. We have the key to turn this is basically what's going on today, this weekend. And if we allow ourselves to open that up and really surrender and allow what's been uh, brewing to come out, bubbling up, really, whatever, you know, you get it. You know, there's a, there's a huge sense of relief. Uh, there's this great release. And there's an excitement. You know, good feelings, good stuff. Good stuff. It's going to be a good weekend. It's going to be a very good weekend. But just know that this tension is kind of building up. Um, so hopefully everything comes out in a, in a you know, in, you know, positive way. But either way, there's always, it's going to come out either way. <laughs> it's going to come out either way. Uh, so have a happy Friday, my friends. We'll see you tomorrow.